Hey you guys, it's Koe. So, I recently started my GoFundMe to leave the state um, after all of these laws have been passed in Florida. I've become extremely frightened and I have lost touch with reality and I'm just panicking constantly and I don't know what's going to happen and I really um, have been struggling to kind of uh, condense what is going on uh, with the trans community right now and um, I found this awesome flow chart uh, that I'll link in the description um, for what's going on uh, with this House Bill 254, now State Bill or whatnot, 254. Um, and I realized, you know, because of a comment from my last video that uh, I hadn't explained why I'm asking for donations to leave the state. Um, so I've just you know, I, I, I'm, uh, my heart is broken. Um, my heart goes out to especially trans women right now. Um, and I am so thankful for all of the donations that I have received the past couple days since I started my GoFundMe. Um, I know my aunt has been ferociously sharing my go fund me to her friends and family in California and my friends have been sharing it Jesse's been sharing it on her Instagram and whatnot so thank you so much for uh, spreading awareness and spreading uh, the my ability to uh, get out of this toxic environment um, I am going to be seeing my new doctor for HRT on this Thursday. They called me on Friday while I was at work in the afternoon um, and told me that they had to switch my appointment from Wednesday to Thursday and to a different location, which is further away, um, to meet this new doctor. Uh, so we will see what happens. Um, I don't know whether or not I'm going to have a script when I leave the office or if I can get refills or what's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to be denied at the pharmacy. Um, my friend's uh, prescription was denied at the pharmacy when she went to fill it a couple days ago. Um, and we go to see the same doctor, uh, nurse practitioner, I should say, um, because nurse practitioners are no longer allowed to uh, write prescriptions to trans patients in Florida, which I'm about to explain now. So, as you know, or maybe don't know, trans healthcare for uh, anyone under 18 has been outlawed. You cannot receive it. Uh, there are like special circumstances for uh, people under 18, uh, children under 18 who are currently receiving care. I'm not sure about the logistics of that. Uh, it might be too difficult to get a script for them because it's so difficult to get a script as an adult, uh, I doubt that they're able to fill any prescription. So um, my heart goes out to all the trans minors in Florida right now. Um, oh, so um, NP, nurse practitioners, and APRNs, uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure what that stands for, are prohibited from 
prescribing HRT, which is hormone re replacement therapy, for trans adults after May 17th, 2023. Uh, around 80% of trans adults in Florida are prescribed HRT from a nurse practitioner. They will be forced to leave their current providers and seek care from the much smaller number of medical doctors and D DOs offering gender affirming care. Um, so, oh, that's a lot of people. That's a lot, a lot of people. Um, most, uh, and the crazy part is nurse practitioners are able to prescribe medication in all 50 states, uh, including gender affirming hormone therapy until now <laughs> in Florida. This is a unique new restriction um, <laughs> providing for uh, nurse practitioners and APRNs providing gender affirming care specifically. Trans adults were able to receive HRT prescriptions from nurse practitioners and APRNs in Florida for decades until Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. So there's absolutely no reason why this needs to be happening. No reason at all. This is very specifically targeting trans adults. Very specific. Um... So if you are getting a subsequent visit or a refill, it's legally uncertain, limited, and inconsistent access. Because of the section of State Bill 254 has it been interpreted as potentially ambiguous, many providers have stopped consistently offering refills or renewals to established adult patients. Please contact your provider for information on any av available continu continuity of care. Uh, so I guess I'm going to find out on Thursday. Um, this is all new. Uh, and it can be very dangerous for a trans person to stop taking their medication um, mentally and physically. I don't know what the physical repercussions are yet besides, um, uh, actually, I don't, I don't really know. No, I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't want to find out either because um, I know how I am mentally without testosterone. Um, so if you are doing telehealth, you cannot get an initial prescription via telehealth anymore. So a ton of telehealth providers have dropped all their patients for Florida right now. And, uh, they're kind of just left stranded right now, um, because of this bill law. Um, yeah, in-person visits are also widely unavailable because the section has been interpreted as ambig ambiguous. Many MDs and DOs are currently not writing new HRT prescriptions for adults until boards of medicine emergency rules and mandatory forms are drafted. So right now there's part of the law is that you have to sign a informed consent form at every single visit that you have with your doctor. So they haven't made that form yet. So you can't, they, they don't know if they can even write prescriptions um, legally right now. Uh, so I, I, I don't know if I'm going to have a script <laughs> this Thursday. I really don't. I, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, but I will definitely update you guys. Um, I really, really appreciate all of your help. I'm scared for the trans community in Florida. I'm scared uh, 
for all the trans children and um, teenagers uh, and just just a frighten, frightening, frightening time for everybody uh, in Florida right now for, for the trans community. Um, thank you so much. Um, I, I'm going to post my GoFundMe in the description. I'm going to post my Cash App, my Venmo as well uh, to avoid, if you'd like to avoid fees, you can donate through the Cash App and Venmo. Um, GoFundMe takes quite a huge chunk of donations, uh, I've noticed. So if you'd like to donate to help me get out of this state of Florida and I will be documenting everything that I do through my channel here so you can I can keep you updated. I will be moving to Henderson, Nevada and I'll be near one of my best Judy's, <laughs> Jesse Bean. Um, so she's been paramount in my transition to the other state and just amazing throughout the whole process and helping me look for new places to rent and everything. So I think I said that in the last video, but I'm just so grateful for her uh, support. So thank you all for your support and thank you all for your donations. I'm, I'm feeling more energized than ever to try and, and keep going and to get out of this state as fast as possible. So I really appreciate you helping me get there. So thank you so much. The donation links are in the description. My goal is 5,000 for first, last, and security on my new apartment. So with my husband and my puppy Shinzo. So <laughs> thank you so much. I love you all so much. Stay safe, please. Bye.